Hey guys, Christy here from Civil Life and welcome back to our channel. Today we are talking about email marketing in ClickUp. Now I'm not talking about using ClickUp as an email marketing platform because it is not. You can use email marketing platforms like ActiveCampaign, MailChimp, Flowdesk. Our personal fave is Active Campaign, but we're actually talking about managing your email marketing process in ClickUp, making sure the whole thing is streamlined and organized and you're really staying on top of sending out those email newsletters however often you choose, whether it's once a week, twice a week, once a month. Having your email marketing set up and organized in your ClickUp is really going to set you up for success. Okay, so you might even be wondering as you're starting this video, why email marketing? So if you're not into email marketing yet, I get it. It took me a while to get into it as well because it was just like this big question mark in my head. But the truth is a brand will make on average $42 on every $1 they invest in email marketing. That's a 4,200% return on investment. That's pretty sweet if you ask me. That's why I'm super excited to walk you through our email marketing template today to show you how we organize our process from start to finish. So before we dive in, I just wanna say, as I mentioned, it took us a little while to get into email marketing because it was just a struggle, right? We didn't know how to organize the process. We didn't know what metrics to be tracking. But once we started organizing this process in ClickUp, everything became so much more clear and we're really able to stay consistent with our newsletters, track which ones are performing well, go back to see why, maybe it was the subject line, maybe it was the body of the email. And it's helped us with delegating this process and parts of it to different team members. So putting it all in ClickUp means we actually don't have to manage the entire thing on our own anymore. Okay, so let me walk you through our email marketing ClickUp template. So here we are in our email marketing template. This is included in both our shop and our membership. And this is actually how we manage and organize our email marketing process here at DeSilva Life. So this list is a little bit simple. There aren't too many things going on, but it really keeps everything in one place. So let's start first with the statuses. So we want to make sure that we have statuses for every single place this email goes through and phase. So you'll see the email is as a task and it's the subject line would be the task name. Then we have the statuses to create, in progress, ready for review, needs edits, ready to schedule, scheduled, and sent. You can also see that we're utilizing not started statuses and done statuses as well. And then we change that complete status to sent. Now, some people might wanna have subtasks underneath these if you have a team or you just wanna break this up into, you know, write email newsletter, edit email newsletter, schedule newsletter. But actually what we do at DeSilva Life is as these things are moving different statuses, we will set automations for team members so that they get assigned the task. So for example, if anything gets set to ready for review, it assigns me with a due date of one day later. If it goes to needs edits or ready to schedule, it'll get set and assigned to our VA with a due date of one day later. So let me actually show you how to create that automation real quick. So I'm gonna click create automation. When the status changes from any to ready for review, it's going to reassign me with a due date of one day after the trigger date. And then you can also add descriptions. So when status changes to ready for review, reassign Christy with due date of one day later. I always like to label my um, automation so I always know what they're referencing to and what they actually do. 
Okay, so here are the different emails along the pipeline. You can see where every single one is. You'll see who's currently assigned and if there's a due date on this email. This is not the send date. This is the due date of what phase it's in. So if it's ready to schedule, I want it scheduled by the 17th or if it needs edits, the edits need to be done by the 21st, etc. Comments back and forth to see anything that I'm communicating with my team on. Now, if you're a solopreneur, you might not need comments because maybe you're not commenting back and forth with anyone. So you could hide this column. Now you can always have the comment section, that's never gonna go away, but you don't need it to clutter your columns. But again, if you want to add that back, we're just going to add that comment section right there. Then we have linked docs. I'm going to show you two different options of how you can actually hold the copy of the email. Then a date custom field for send date and then a drop down custom field for the month that it's getting sent out. Okay, so that's the first status list view, right? Then we have the publish calendar. So this is showing all of the send date custom fields. It's color coded by status, so you can see what status this is in. And so we just get an idea of the email marketing calendar, what's going out when. Then we have a list view that's grouped by the custom field month because some people like to just see in monthly chunks. Okay, here's what's going out in June, July, August, etc. And then we also pulled that column, the status column, out on the outside so you can see where this thing is, right? So if this is going out Tuesday, great, it's scheduled the week after it's already ready to schedule and then we haven't finished out June's because we need to edit this one and then we have analytics so this is where we have a filter that the status is sent and we pulled in some extra custom fields so open rate click-through rate unsubscribe rate now this is a manual process we have a monthly task where our VA will go in and gather these monthly analytics for all the emails so we have these to analyze whenever we need to so this is going to show link docs if there's any send date open rate click-through rate and unsubscribe and these are also great if you want to create a dashboard as well and get some email analytics you can see like the average open rate click-through rate etc um, ones that didn't perform particularly well you'll be able to see like graphs and stuff like that and you can see you can even calculate some average range here so this would make sense for average seeing your average open rate once you have more in this analytics tab so analytics why do we have the statuses sent filter that's because we only need to gather analytics for emails that have been sent. So those will filter in here. We'll grab those analytics, put them in here, and then everything's in one place. And then we have a doc view for email copies. So if you want to write your emails in doc form, then we suggest that you have some nested docs having 2022 emails. You can have all of them under there. We particularly like grouping our content by month and then under there. So this would be date, subject line, you can have subject line one, two, call to actions, and then the body of the email. So those are the views at the top. Now let's go into actually the template itself. So this is in the template where we have this table and this just organizes our content. So we always have subject line one, two, call to action, and the body. So I'll actually show you what this looks like filled out. Okay, so here's an example of one of our newsletters in this template. You could see how clean and organized it is. Having subject line, subject line two, the call to action. So what are we actually promoting and calling the person to action in this email? Not only do we have the name, but I put the link here as well. And then the body of the email. So you can see this is, um, you can either do, this is where we put our YouTube thumbnail in with links. So I could put that thumbnail in here or my VA just knows where to grab that thumbnail. And then if there are things like, okay, we put in a mock-up here,
here. You can actually insert that into the description in the table. So then they can actually just copy and paste this whole entire email right into your email marketing platform. So super cool and clean to have this in here. And then we have, you'll see the custom fields in here as well. If they're not filled out, because this has not been sent yet and the analytics have not been get gathered, then it's just gonna hide the fields. So also with this template in here, right, this table, what we've done is we created a task template with that table in the description. And then we have one more automation that when the task is created, so when a task is created in this list, it applies a template email newsletter task template. So you'll see if I go ahead and add a new task, then that automation is gonna trigger and that table is gonna pop up in the description. And there we go, you can see that it did pop up. And one last tip here I just wanna share, if you see this line right here, that means there's a description in this task and you can actually preview that description by hovering over that little symbol. So that's just a fun little tip in case you didn't know that. But that is a walkthrough of our email marketing template. I hope this made it more clear of how you can manage and organize your email marketing process with ClickUp. So whether or not you saw this video and you choose to build out the template yourself, or you wanna go ahead and check out the link in the description below and get it to plug right into your ClickUp in like 30 seconds. I hope this video helped you understand more how we actually effectively organize our email marketing strategy in ClickUp. If you have any questions about this email marketing template or different aspects that you also wanna add to it, maybe you have some questions about other content strategies that you are curious about and how we organize and click up as well, feel free to go ahead and drop a comment below. With that, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you. If you want more videos on ClickUp systems, organization, processes, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a beat. With that, thanks for watching.